Willkommen zurück zu Tales of Pesaria. Beim letzten Mal haben wir, ähm, ja, wir haben nochmal gegen Inomenot gekämpft. Wir sind entkommen aus diesem komischen Wirrwarr und aus von dieser komischen Insel, die irgendwo im Nirgendwo war. Warte mal, hier, äh, da unten irgendwo. Kann ich dir hier irgendwo zeigen? Kommen wir da überhaupt dann wieder mal hin? Weil da war ja dann noch so ein, da, die Hexeninsel. Ja, vom Antlitz der Erde getilgte Insel. Ja, aber ist ja dennoch irgendwie da. Egal. Da würde ich ja halt gerne mal bei Zeiten zurück, nur im Moment können wir halt nicht mit dem Schiff zurückdüsen, weil wir sollen äh, in der Taverne hin. Gasthaus in Kettnixhafen. Okay. Damit wir uns erholen können von den Strapazen der letzten Zeit. So, Expedition hier wieder auf Tour schicken und weg geht's. I'm glad you didn't win that bet, Mogilu. Sure, you're glad, but what witch would be happy at losing? And you pampered Velvet like crazy. It's your fault I lost. Really? I don't remember doing anything. Nope, wasn't us. <laughs> Staying out of it is just as bad. If you don't throw salt or sugar into an open wound, you're guilty of being too nice. I lost the bet because of you. You owe me. In that case, let us get in on the action. Let's make another bet. Oh, I'm listening. I'll bet 10,000 gold that Velvet cracks. Oh. I'll make that same bet. 10,000. Uh -huh. Hey, wait a minute. You both know that I'm the one who wants to bet that she cracks. Then you should have spoken up first. We can call the whole thing off if you want. No, no. What kind of gambler would I be if I back down now? I'm afraid I have to take that bet. I hereby bet 10,000 that Velvet doesn't crack. <laughs> What's so funny? For someone so stubborn, you can be surprisingly cute sometimes. You're calling a witch cute? That's slander! You both owe me the money you bet as reparations! Mm, yeah, okay, good. Good, then I'm a penguin here. Oh je, sind völlig geschafft, oh, es geht auf euer Zimmer und ruht euch etwas aus. Für 100 Geld, zu Hause ist billiger. So, should I think of you as my sister? I'm a Moloch named Ceres. I've inherited Selica's memories, that's all. And that doesn't make you the same person? What exactly defines a person's identity? I may have her body and her memories, but... <sighs> you're right. If your soul has changed, you're not the same person anymore. Even if I were Selica, I don't have the right to be called your sister. I followed Artorius's orders without question, sacrificing my own flesh and blood. What about me? I devoured you. I have no right to condemn you for what you've done. There's a difference, Velvet. I wanted you to do it. Even had I survived, I would have given myself to you before long. I wanted you to have my power, no matter the cost. But why? Right after the advent, Selica's memories returned to me. It was then I understood what exactly it was I had done. Arthur, kind and caring, transformed into the cruel Artorius he is now. Why did your memories return? I don't know. I've heard that very rarely Malakim can regain the memories of their previous lives. Or perhaps this is my punishment for the pain I brought to you all. The stronger I feel my love for Arthur, the less I can forgive Artorius. My hatred of him has grown so deep, I'm not Selica anymore. As Ceres, I can never bring back the Arthur that I loved. Neither do I have the power to defeat Artorius. But you can. You're a Therian. You fully absorbed my power. You can face the Shepherd. I know. I will stop him. Forgive me, Velvet. I've pushed everything onto you. 
My hatred, my determination. I wanted to apologize one last time at the end. I'm glad I had a chance to know you. I'm glad that once I could be Luffy's sister. And Celica and Arthur's sister as well. I was happy. Should you be up so soon? Yeah, but... Stay back! <gasps> it's finally come to this. But of course it did. After all, I chose my revenge over a world of peace. I can't complain if people call me the Lord of Calamity. Velvet, whether you're human, demon, or Lord of Calamity... doesn't change that you have beautiful hair. Laffy said the same thing to me a long time ago. He gave me this comb. Your heart, I can tell it aches. Yes. But even still, no, because of that, I've made up my mind. I'm going to settle things with Artorius and Inominat, once and for all. It must be done. For my sake, and for the sake of those I loved. I will too. Even without my compass, I'll place my hand on the wheel and chart my own course. I will defeat Artorius. But, if I kill Inominat, Luffy said, and me, and the other Therians, they'll all... A compass? Hmm... Was nicht hier schon wieder los? Why the hell didn't you say something? Hm. Calm down. You were passed out at the time, okay? I'm going. I've got to stop him. What's going on? We got a message from the Von Eltia. That's great. Is everyone okay? Yeah. For now. Huh? While Benwick and the others were making their getaway, they got word that Eifried was spotted in Endgand. They said they're on their way to Lionel Island to meet him. That has to be... Yes, a trap. No doubt set by that horned demon, who may even be Eifried himself. Eifried is a demon? Are you serious? I said may. Let's head to Lionel Island. Whoever it is, it's a lead. Besides, we can't afford to lose the Von Eltia. How will we get there? Zavid probably sailed off with the ship we came in on. We'll steal one from the harbor. I may be a calamity, but I'm frugal. Okay. Also, wie komme ich an ein Schiff? Genau. The Prince Percival made it back to the capital. The Abbey used everything they had to rescue him. I heard he was kidnapped by the Lord of Calamity. So if they got him back, that demon must be... Dead. Along with all of her gang. That's what a friend of mine in the Royal Army told me anyway. Natürlich. The Abbey's propaganda at work again, I see. We're finally safe! <gasps> hold up, hold up. From what I hear, no one knows if the Lord of Calamity actually gave up the ghost. Her hideout got destroyed, but some say she managed to escape. What makes them think she escaped? Fishermen from Port Renit saw a fleet of Abbey ships near that island that's rumored to be a prison. Just a little bit later, they saw a pirate ship speeding away from the area where the Abbey ships were headed. Well, that was definitely us. Guess it isn't that easy to hide the truth. There was some talk a while ago about prisoners' bodies washing up on shore at Port Renid. So that story sounds plausible, at least. It does. And here I thought I was safe. 
So where did the Lord of Calamity go? <sighs> the Abbey needs to get their act together and put that monster down already. Go ahead. Talk all you like. Oh. Curse it all. If only I'd notice sooner. War ja schon fast offensichtlich, ne? I saw an Abbey ship heading toward the Sea of No Return. I wonder what they're doing. They've made that whole area off limits. The guild got an order from the Abbey telling us to stay away. They're being nice and careful, and taking precautions to keep the secret of Hexen Isle just that. Yeah, but order or not, no one here is stupid enough to try to sail there. It's said that compasses go dead, and monsters from the deep appear to swallow ships whole. Whatever the case, ships really have sailed there to never return. Everyone knows that the Sea of No Return is bad news. Come to think of it, I heard a ship from some other town strayed into those waters and got attacked by a dragon. A dragon? <laughs> you sure they didn't just get a bad case of the Corsair Scourge and dream up the whole thing? Well, that was my reaction, but then again, the Abbey did tell everyone to stay away, so something must be there. Whatever it is, we'd all best leave it be. The Sea of No Return. What a poetic name. For the Malachim taken there, that poem is a tragic one. Everywhere the Abbey sets foot ends up the same. Oh. Ist immer das gleiche. Der Abtei. So, hallo? Hab ich, hab ich hier was zum Abgeben? Ja, hab ich. Okay. So, und dann gibt's ja noch den hier auf der Hexeninsel, was auch immer das ist. Und wo ist der denn? Egal, Eisspitzen. Okay. Mörder baum Wir sind jetzt neu hinzugekommen? Nein, ne? Hm. Der von der Hexeninsel da ist gar nicht irgendwo mit dabei. So, was haben wir hier noch Schönes? Okay. Flammensplitter. Guten Tag. Können wir das Schiff nehmen? How about this one? The hole looks dirty. And I don't see anyone aboard. You're surprisingly into this. Maybe you've got a criminal streak in you after all. What? No, I... What do you think, Eisen? She'll do. Let's take her. Okay. Äh, können wir? Nein, können wir nicht. Wir können wirklich nur zur Lionel Werft. Okay. Na dann, hinter. Wenn ich noch nicht irgendwo hin kann, ja, dann, dann ist es so. Das andere Schiff war hübscher. Eisen, everything all right? We're almost at Lionel Island. All thanks to this ship. She's got a good compass. Yeah. If only my inner compass held us steady. From the first moment I laid eyes upon that demon, I think I knew it was Eifried. But some part of me refused to accept it. That's because you're Eifried's friend, don't you think? After all, he taught you that the Reaper's curse was part of you, part of your creed. We were lost at sea once. Twenty straight days we floated together, close to death. And all he says is, you sure know how to liven up an adventure. He sounds like an incredible person. You did the same thing for Velvet, you know. Only because you taught me how, Aizen. Your wheel is yours to hold, right? That's right. That's what it is to live by one's... Look! It's Lionel Island! Not good. The Von Elty is already there. Dum dum dum. <sighs> We're too late. Alle tot. Eleanor! What's going on? What happened? A horned demon attacked us out of nowhere! They're breathing. Barely. Zavid rushed here to save us. Had he not come when he did, we'd all be dead. This is all because I hesitated. Where'd they go? Zavid lured the beast away, towards the interior. Let's go! Na dann, auf auf. Hab ich, hab ich noch hier genug? Hier? 
Jo. Kann ich wenigstens mal wieder eine Kiste öffnen. Weiße Hasenohren. Okay, die sind ein bisschen sehr dominant. Dann halt nicht. So. Aber... Dann bekommt sie halt ein Röschen. So. Einfach weil. Ganz einfach. Witz da? Oh Gott. Das ist dieser ewig lange Weg, ne? Ah, oh, guck mal, jetzt müssen wir nämlich in die andere Richtung da hinten hin. Ah. Muss ich jetzt hier wieder mit Portalen spielen? Ich glaube nicht. Also Portalen hier. Barrieren. Aber ich glaube nicht. Soll mir recht sein. Weil hier war ja alles so verwinkelt mit den ganzen Barrieren und du durftest eine halbe Ewigkeit wieder zurücklatschen, damit du dann ähm, zum Schalter der jeweiligen Barriere kommst. Das fand ich hier echt ätzend. Echt ätzend ist gar kein Ausdruck. Oh gut. So, hier muss ich glaube ich links lang, ne? Ja. Ich dann da das ganze Ding überspringen kann. Den Weg, den wir schon extra aufgemacht haben. Gut, dass ich den aufgemacht habe. Also müssen wir tatsächlich den langen Weg nochmal gehen. Ist that Demon really Eifried? Eisen would know better than anyone, so I take it as a fact. But I thought when people have a strong will like you and Kurogane, they don't lose themselves upon becoming a demon. From how Aizen talks about him, I'd say his strength of will should be considerable. Even if you don't lose yourself, a demon is a demon. When you change, you're no longer human. I don't remember how I felt as a human. But I bet the human me would have thought I'm a real monster. <sighs> but would the old part of Eifried allow him to be so obedient to the Abbey? No. He didn't seem to be following Melchior of his own free will. I imagine Melchior's illusory arts are at play. Like what we saw at Loringen in a ball? Is that enough to control a demon? They would seem so. But more importantly, someone with a psyche resilient enough to impress Aizen should be extraordinarily hard to turn into a demon. So Melchior must be using a particularly nasty illusion, eh? Eifried, Aizen, please be okay. Na, schauen wir mal. We have to hurry. Zavid's all alone. Well, he's not exactly an ally. He's got his own creed. Remember the white horned dragon. He might try to protect Eifried. So Eisen might too, right? This is Eifried we're talking about, so He's a demon now. He's not Eisen's old buddy anymore. <sighs> Even if we can't bring him back to being human, there has to be something we can do to make him himself again. If he's a demon, he'll never be himself again. He attacked Benwick and the rest of his crew. The old Eifried's gone. So, what does Eisen plan to do? I don't know. That's up to him. Worst case, we might have to fight him too. It's best you prepare yourself for that possibility. But. No, if we need to, that's to come, huh? We need to fight Eisen. Kämpfen. Aber schauen wir mal. Hep. Und hep. Also außer jemand hat jetzt wieder diese Mauer da hinten aufgebaut. Das wäre natürlich jetzt nicht ganz so toll. Aber sieht nicht danach aus. Dann ist ja gut. Yeah. 
ambos lados. Dann schauen wir mal. Kann nur furch furchtbar werden, oder? Ich bin schon fast da. Ich bin fast da. So, ein steht da mit Eisen. Ah ne, mit Savid, okay. Savid, you all right? Eisen war die ganze Zeit bad. Stop. I know these fists. This is Eifried. Why didn't you fight back? Eifried, she pulled me back from the brink. I owe him. This time. It's my turn to bring him back. A demon can never be human again. <laughs> so what? It's supposed to make me change my creed? What do you think, I freed? Savid! <laughs> after kids now <sighs> Benwick and your crew risked their lives by your side Zavid's an idiot but he stands by his beliefs I won't let anyone trample their creeds even you Everything I freed. And now it's time to pay it back. Oh shit. Are you all right with the so Let's settle this. It's easier said than done. He's a sturdy guy. He's a sturdy Immer fürs Drohung. Er wird keine Chance haben. Außer er hält halt noch drei Ewigkeiten aus, ne? Aber sonst. Da. Oh oh. Oh, it's the beam on. Oh. Du, das ist schön viel Schaden. Machen wir gleich nochmal. Oh, das hat aber nicht so viel Schaden gemacht. Okay. Trotzdem war schön. Aua. So, jetzt hat er nicht mal vier. Lapp ist Regel. End of the road. Taking hostages now. I'm sorry. Just forget about me. I'm I'm prepared for whatever happens. Hm. 
All right. You've grown. You're a man now. Family, friends, everything I ever tried to hold on to, all of it trickled away, fell from my grasp. But a certain idiot once told me, if you can't hold something in your hand, then make a fist and take it by force. This fist will take everything back. Just like you told me to! Uh. Ah! Don't worry about it. We're friends, right? I freed! Demon changed back into a human? Forget it. It's too late. I'm sorry. If I only knew how to use my power. Stop crying. Didn't you say you were prepared for anything? and you were searching for Eifried for so long. <sighs> You're still as soft as you ever were. Boy, I'll let you in on little secrets. Your power comes from being part of He Know Me Not. Which means if you can seal off his domain, you actually got a chance of putting up a good fight. Seal off his domain? The four elemental Empyreans sleeping in the Earth pulses. If you can rouse them from their slumber. Hurry, while Artorius and Enominat are occupied. They're getting ready for some ceremony of suppression. It's now or never, kid. Thank you, Ifried. <laughs> I'm just sad I can't go with you. This sounds like a goddamn blast. I won't apologize. You shouldn't. I'm grateful. You always kept things from getting dull. If we ever meet again, let's raise some hell. Eisen. Yeah, we will. See you, Eifried. <sighs> I owe you one, Zavid. We had a chance to bring him back. But you went and killed him. Next time I see you, we'll settle the score. Between me and your creed. See you around, Zavid. Alles nicht immer einfach. So, we need to wake the four elemental Empyreans? But how do we do it? Danel, maybe you tickle their divine footsies with a feather until they... You're back! And you're looking better. Somehow. But what happened to that demon? We killed him. Benwick. He... Let me tell him. The rest of you, find Grimoire and ask her about the four Empyreans. Aizen. Are you sure? Do it. He gave us this chance. 
We can't waste it. Okay. Okay, gut. Dann fragen wir Grimoire nach äh, den vier Imperians. Und äh, ja, machen wir aber auch erst in der nächsten Folge von Tales of Bisaria. Bis dahin, viel Spaß noch. Vielen Dank fürs Zuschauen und bis dann. <lacht>